Welcome to your aerial yoga practice. I'm Lindsay Nova, and today I'm coming to you from Om Satrid in Keflavik, Iceland. If you love all things aerial yoga, make sure you hit the subscribe button now. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we'll begin on the back. So you can go ahead and scooch your hips underneath of your hammock. You can lay down on your back and bring your feet into the air. Your hands can come onto your hips for support. And then bring your heels into the hammock and gently release your hips back down to the ground. And just take a nice big inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh out through your mouth. Let's let it go. And allow the body to soften into your floor. And just let the feet be supported by your hammock. Feel this gentle inversion, release your legs and calm your mind. And just allow yourself to slow down from any activity. Again, take a deep, full breath in. And deep exhale, release. And take one more nice big inhale and exhale here. And slowly begin to sway your legs side to side. Begin to find a little movement and feel that sway reverberate through your legs, into your hips, and all the way down into your spine. Maybe you feel the head move as a little response to the movement of your legs. And then allow this sway to return to the center. And glue your heels together and flex your feet into the fabric. Squeeze the inner thighs, press your palms into the floor. As you inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips into a bridge. Exhale, peel the spine down one vertebra at a time. Again, inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, roll it down. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. One more, lift up, inhale. And keep your feet hooked on. We'll take some frog pulses. Bend your knees and kick back out. Keep the hips lifted in the air. Breathe five, four, three, two, and one. Press the legs out, lift the hips, inhale. Roll yourself down, exhale, exhale, exhale. <sighs> Again, feel the legs sway side to side. And this time find a little circle. So you'll feel the knees bend a bit as you rotate the legs out and around, out and around. And let this release the lower back. <sighs> and then return to the center. Now let's go ahead and scoot ourselves a little bit more underneath of the fabric. And you're going to lift the hips into the air. You wanna wiggle, 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 and then hook the knees over the center loop of the fabric. And then you can get a little release through the hips, a little sway side to side with the legs. Here to soften the jaw, soften the neck. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> and then find your center and start to squeeze the heels in towards the hips. Activate the hamstrings. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that squeeze nice and tight. Take an inhale. And then exhale, walk your hands up and curl your nose to the knees. 
Inhale down, straighten the arms, keep a good grip on the fabric. Exhale, crunch it up. Inhale down, exhale, crunch. Again, inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. One more, inhale and exhale, nose to the knees. Walk your hands up, extend one leg and then slide the fabric. So you come all the way into a nice comfy seat with the fabric underneath of your hips. You can balance, you can take your shoulders to press them in to the front poles of the fabric and then squeeze the legs together, reach your arms out to a T. Lift up through the center of your body. Nice big inhale here. <sighs> And then from here, take both of your hands onto the right side of the fabric. So we'll move into the mermaid. So tilt your body over to the right hand side of the fabric. And you want the fabric to be right in front of the hips like a seat belt. From here, you can extend out your arms and your legs to make a straight line with the body. Now to help yourself find that place, you can bring the right hand down to the mat. Okay, and try to make that straight line from your shoulder to your hip and all the way to the other leg. From here, take the right hand back on and we'll lift back up for the other side. So from here, you'll take the right hand over to the left side, turn the body to the left. So I'll just kind of rotate myself around here so you can see the fabric is in front of the hip and my hand is on the floor like I'm in a side plank. Or I can reach the arm out into the mermaid position, lengthen the waist as you inhale and exhale, and then reach yourself back up and come back to your swing seat. So now we'll take the mermaid into the star. So take your left hand over to the right pole and pivot into your mermaid position, extend out. Take the right hand on to that right pole, take the left leg through the center, and then release the left arm. You can come into a side plank, or you can float and balance. Take the left hand onto the same pole as the right hand, and reach the left leg up and through the center. And breathe in and breathe out here. And then we'll take both hands over to the left pole and pivot onto that left hip for your mermaid position. Reach yourself out and then left hand comes onto the left pole, right leg goes through the center and you can start in that side plank position, lift up through the waist. Maybe you wanna reach in balance and then right hand comes on to that same pole as the left hand, and then you'll bring yourself back up to your seated position. When you're ready, go ahead and step down and just roll out your wrists for a few moments. Breathe in and breathe out here. Okay, so go ahead and just work through the fingers a little bit. Go the other direction and shake it out. Beautiful. All right, so just take a nice big inhale and exhale, roll the shoulders up and back. Take a couple shoulder circles here. Just massage out the muscles of the neck and the upper back. And let's go the other way. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. So from here, let's go ahead and come into a standing wrist wrap position. So you'll wrap your hands forward of the fabric and then they'll come around, make a prayer position with your hands and then slide them down so they lock into the center loop of the fabric. So go ahead and make sure that your hands are right underneath of that center point and bring your feet underneath of your hips. Draw your kneecaps up, lift through the belly muscles as you inhale and exhale, slide the hammock forward and down and come into your nice flat back position. 
and bend one knee at a time. Kind of walk out your legs a little bit. And push through the side body. And then lengthen and reach as you inhale. And then bend your legs. <sighs> inhale, roll yourself up. And again, exhale, fold forward and down. Lift the belly, reach through the arms, reach through the hips. From here, go ahead and shift onto your left leg and reach your right leg up to come into a warrior three position. Find your balance here as you inhale and then exhale, bring the elbows and the knee together. Inhale, stretch yourself out. Again, exhale, curl yourself in, inhale, and stretch out. One more, exhale in, and stretch and kick. From here, open that right leg out to the side, and then sweep it all the way back and behind into a curtsy lunge, and sink it down, reach and stretch. One more karate kick, nice and slow, out to the side, and curtsy lunge, sink it down, reach and stretch. Stay here, breathe, three, two, and one. Come back to center, roll yourself up, inhale, exhale, fold forward and down, second side. Shift onto your right leg, warrior three, breathe in, square the hips, Exhale, knee and elbows meet, navel to spine, stretch it out, breathe in. Exhale, curl, inhale, stretch. One more, curl in and reach. And now open that left leg wide to the side and then step it all the way back and down and find that curtsy lunge. And again, karate kick, nice and slow and controlled. Back and down, curtsy lunge, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll all the way up to the center, inhale, and release your hands, roll it out a little bit. Okay, from here, go ahead and step forward, bring the fabric to your hip creases, walk yourself forward for a downward facing dog. Eventually you'll bring your hands down to the mat and then open the legs nice and wide. Make sure the fabric is in your hip creases and not on your abdomen. Push through the arms, let the head release, sway the legs out side to side. And I'll return to the center. And go ahead and bring your right foot down to the floor. Open your left leg out to the side and then hook the foot onto the left pole of the fabric and then slide the foot all the way up. And then from here, you can float that right leg up, maybe bending it into a passe position. And breathe in and breathe out here. And then release to change sides. Left foot down, right leg goes out, and the foot finds the fabric, slide it up. The left leg can bend, stay here, breathe. And then release. And this time again, extend both legs out, lift them off the floor. Sway side to side, and then circle the legs. One direction, the other direction. And 
Good. And then slowly release your feet to the floor. Roll yourself up, ground yourself back in, and just take a moment and take a breath here. <sighs> All right, so from here, go ahead and make sure that you're standing about right underneath of the plumb line, maybe a little bit behind. So you're gonna wrap your hands forward of the fabric. So you'll go one, and then you'll go two. So bring your feet together underneath of your hips. You're gonna lean yourself back and then pull yourself up. Now, if that's easy, you're gonna to start to step your feet forward and lean back and pull yourself up. And again, every time that you step forward, you're gonna go a little more on an angle. So this might start to get a little bit harder. So find a spot that works well for you and we'll do five pull-ups. So inhale. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Release your hands, open nice and wide, and then take your hands like a prayer on the center loop of the fabric and stretch out your shoulders here. Just let the heart melt down to the floor. And exhale, bend your legs. <sighs> Slowly roll yourself all the way back up to a standing position. Now let's go ahead and move so that the fabric is going to be behind us, but first you wanna do a little transition. So let's start with the left foot in the hammock. So you can swing the hammock, place your left ankle in the fabric, and then you'll pivot around over the right shoulder. Breathe in, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to the mat, and come into a high lunge position. So feel the right knee stacked over the ankle, you can sway the left leg out, back in behind you a little bit. Bring the left hand underneath of your shoulder, reach your right arm up to the sky, take a nice twist. And slowly bring the right hand down to the mat. Now let's take that right foot back to meet the left foot and come into your flying plank. Breathe in and breathe out here. And we'll take four tucks. Exhale, knees to the chest. Inhale, stretch. Four, three, two, one. Now lift your hips up into a pike. From here, you'll take that right leg up like a half handstand, and you're gonna take the leg over the left leg, okay? So you're gonna shift the weight of your body onto that left hand. The right foot will drop to the floor, bend your knee, hips release. Now lift up into your wild thing pose, and then you're going to propel yourself Back over and around, can bring the knee into the chest. Maybe lift it up one more time. And then you'll bring that right foot to the hammock. And then the left foot steps forward to come in to your lunge position. Breathe in and breathe out here. A little sway, the leg side to side. Let's twist right hand under the shoulder and bring the left arm up. Spiral through your spine. And left hand comes down and take that left leg in to meet the right leg. And this time we'll take four pikes. Lift up four. Three, two, and hold it on one. Left leg comes up 
and you're gonna go over that right leg, foot to the floor, rebound, lift up, extend, wild thing pose, come down and go back over, lift the leg up and bring the knee to the floor, other knee to the floor and fold yourself down and find a nice restful balasana child's pose. Now bring your hands underneath of your shoulders and slowly roll yourself all the way up and go ahead and find your hammock. And then we'll step ourselves all the way back up to a standing position. Okay, so from here, we're going to sit into the fabric. Okay, so you wanna find one edge of your fabric and we'll wave it out. <clears throat> okay, so stand underneath your plumb line, put two thumbs in, bunch it up five to eight times and go ahead and stand on your tippy toes and push the fabric down underneath of your hips and then slide yourself all the way in. Okay, so you can bring your feet on the inside here and scoot back. I recommend scooting back a couple of times. We're going to move into the dragonfly. Okay, so this is a little shoulder stand flip. So what you'll do is you'll scoot back so that you have enough fabric by your feet is gonna come up and over your legs like a little skirt. Then you'll take the back fabric like a cape over your shoulders. <clears throat> okay, so make sure they're nice and covered. Now from here, reach your arms up and take your legs up and over. Now, if you want here, your feet are caught in the fabric, you can bring your hands to your heart and hold in a plow position. Now to move into the full flip, hold back on with your hands, reach through your feet, and the legs will catch in the fabric. The hips go down as the head comes up. To come out of it, pike through the hips, lift back up, and roll yourself back in to the fabric. Now for our next variation, we're going to take the right leg out. Okay, so keep the left leg covered and Take your right leg out. You're gonna lift up and flip yourself down and around. And now you can come into this position with a bent knee or a straight leg. Take a little stretch and then bend the leg and flip yourself all the way back up and around and replace your right leg on the inside and make sure that leg stays covered with some fabric, left leg comes on top and you'll flip yourself up and through the center. And again, little stretch. And breathe in and breathe out here. And then coming up and back around and bringing yourself all the way inside your cocoon. So go ahead and allow that fabric to cover your whole body. And we'll just take a quick stretch here before Shavasana. Go ahead and lift your right leg up and just cross it over to the left side. Stay here and breathe for a few moments. Fill the belly with the air of your breath as you inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then slowly release your right leg and take the left leg up and over, cross it to the right side and breathe here a few moments. And go ahead and release your leg 
allow yourself to take rest in Shavasana if you would like for a few moments. Whenever you're ready, you'll gently lift yourself up and come up and out of your hammock and back down into the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing aerial yoga with me today. Again, I'm Lindsay Nova. Don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel, hit like and ask any questions or comments down below. And make sure that you check out this amazing yoga mat company called Illustrate. They make these beautiful cork yoga mats with gorgeous paintings on them. You can use code LindsayNova10 for a 10% discount. So check the links down below and I'll see you in the next video.